chicken. What are you doing? Hi guys, it's the Geocache family. Um, if you've been with us for a while, you know we have been really working to clean up the yard, clean up the homestead, and try and make um, better enclosures for our animals. And um, of course, in the midst of you know trying to make this stuff happen, um, we had an attack last night. Um, thank goodness the oldest here heard sounds that she knew were not normal. Um, Duncan had put her head into the pallet so that the raccoons couldn't get a hold of her, but they got her back pretty bad. Um, thankfully, she was able to get out there quickly, um, and now she's been brought inside to get some TLC for a while. Um, thankfully, we had everything on hand to kind of help with cleaning up and wound care and electrolytes for stress. Um, all of that stuff, it's so important to have it on hand, and I'm so thankful that um, we had stockpiled it um, so that we could able to get her through the night. She is still breathing kind of hard. I think she's still stressed, but never fails. It seems like these stupid raccoons go after them when they're 9 or 10 years old. Um, that's when we lost our oldest chicken a couple years back, and uh, I knew they were going to be a problem, the stupid things. I just knew. As it started getting colder and there was less food available, that they were going to start going after our birds. Which is why we have been trying to get stuff cleaned up and rearranged so that we could get out there and get them taken care of. So, um, in the evenings now, we are going to put the ducks in the old cat run since we lost one of the cats and the other one's been acclimated into the house. Um, it's fully enclosed. Well, almost fully enclosed, but uh, they can't, the raccoons can't get under that easily. And then um, we'll have them inside of another cage inside of the enclosed area uh, for the evenings. But the stupid thing went after her when it was not even fully dark out. Um, they're brazen and uh, it's hard because I know they are getting lots of food in this area. And so um, it makes our birds easy, easy targets. So anyway, um, word of advice to those that are starting their homesteads. Um, definitely, definitely don't do like we did and get the animals and then build the enclosures. Uh, get your enclosures situated first and then, then get your animals because the um, stress and heartbreak is just not worth it. Huh. Oh, girl. All right, guys, I just wanted to share um, that story. So far, she looks like she's doing pretty good. Uh, Naya got some footage for you guys, so I'll just splice that in. Um, I am a queasy mom. <laughs> and so um, I left that to her. But uh, we will just love on her now and get her healthy again and hopefully feeling better. It's all right, baby girl. Yeah. Yeah. She's eating really good, so that's so good. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.
How's your bath going, huh? Is that a good Epsom salt bath, baby, huh? She wants some food, Naya. She says I'm supposed to eat when I'm in here. Well, you got your owie, though, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. It looks much better. Yeah, it looks much better. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, girl. Yeah. Does that feel so good in there? Does that feel so good? Yeah. 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 What? What? Let's see you clean. Let's see you clean.